the YouTube Creator Studio app. It can help you manage your channel. It can help you like upload thumbnails and check your analytics. Let's go inside of the phone now and check it out. Alrighty, I'm inside the phone. What next? Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back, high five. And if you're new to the channel and you wanna not only upload your videos, but amplify them, Ooh. well make sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Hey, did you know that the YouTube Creator Studio app recently updated and they've added two things I wanted to mention today. Number one is the ability to upload thumbnails. Okay, Nick Nimmin, it was nice chatting with you again today. I'm gonna access studio and the first thing you'll notice is on the left, why am I talking like this? Cause I like to talk like Bill Clinton sometimes. <laughs> on the left, you'll see dashboard videos, playlist, access videos, and then pull up the most recent video or any video that you want to edit. And you'll see in the upper right hand corner, there's a pencil, click on that, that's the edit tab. And now notice in the middle, it says update or upload thumbnail. Mine says edit thumbnail, cause I've already done that. If you click that, uh, you'll see in the upper right hand corner, change custom thumbnail. I'll click that and that brings me to my photo roll, the camera roll. You can go into something like, hey, what do we got here? Thumbnails, and there are a few thumbnails, cause I make thumbnails. Wicked cool. You select which one you want, you click save. So finally, it's super easy to upload thumbnails on a mobile device. Now the second part of the update, and this is why you really wanna leverage this app, because when good stuff starts to happen, YouTube's gonna notify you and they're gonna walk you through what may have triggered the growth in your channel. Now you can see here, I got a notification on January 2nd and it said watch time just went way up on your channel. Yes, it did, YouTube. <laughs> now I took some screenshots to kind of show you and they'll actually walk you through what may have occurred. And the first question is, did you tap into a story that's been popular or controversial, which I did not. Uh, the next one is, did you make any big changes to the style uh, or topic of your video? And one of the things I did with this video actually is I was very specific to go into a lot of depth to really cover the subject. I created a longer form video style. It really resonated with my subscribers. So I had a high percentage of subscribers watch. They watched longer and that triggered a, a pretty sizable, you can see the spike right here uh, in my watch time. Now the same thing happened a few uh, weeks later with my subscriber growth and I got another message from YouTube saying, hey, this is really a good thing. This is what you want to focus on. So make sure you download and access the studio app so you can just be notified of, of any kind of cool things that might happen that absolutely, I just spit a little bit, that are going to happen on your channel. Hey, I hope you found this video helpful and I learned to use my hands like this from Howie Mandel. Thanks, Howie. And if you want to grow your channel, if you want to drive those views, well, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. You'll feed a poodle. I got two and they're pretty hungry. I'll see you on the next video. Poof. Pixie dust.